Hi guys. It is great to be back again in the great state of Texas. We got the little dog, the little doomer dog, Sancho Panza, is back again at Collapse Chronicles here. It is a Monday morning. It is time to get back to work chronicling the collapse of a civilization and a planet. And it is a Monday morning. Vacation time is over. Where are we already? We are at March. I can't even read this. So we at March 5th, March 6th, somewhere. So anyway, guys, just when I thought I had found all of these new collapsologist here at medium.com here comes another guy never heard of this man until yesterday never heard of this man i noticed he had 63 followers yesterday and he has 100 today so i guess people are finding him and uh, we're going to welcome to the rabbit hall this fellow named alan urban this u-r-b-a-n Alan, uh, all he says about himself is that he is preparing for the collapse of global industrial civilization. So that makes one of us, Alan. So Alan is actually preparing for it. Uh, I'm just chronicling it, but uh, he is doing an excellent job. So what I like about Alan, and it looks like he only just started doing this uh, in October, is that he does two things. He, uh, like today, he just posted this morning or yesterday what he calls the collapse catch ups. What he does is, is he does, I guess it's maybe a weekly newsletter roundup of uh, collapse related, uh, just anything to do with the subject, things that he has stumbled on. So he updates, so this is a running uh, catalog of collapse to put in there with Manga Bay and uh, the rest of the guys. So I urge you to go on to medium.com and follow this fellow, uh, Alan Urban, and get him some more readers. Then also, what so far, in addition to his weekly roundups i say i guess they're weekly we have let's see a few other essays everything you see is gone 10 reasons our civilization will soon collapse living in the last days of modern civilization and the one we are going to touch on today is titled Overshoot, Why It Is Already Too Late to Save Civilization. And so for especially for folks uh, just coming down this rabbit hole and trying to figure out what this is all about, this is kind of an oversimplification. What Alan has done here is an excellent job of like condensing the late great William Catton's book Overshoot uh, into, well, it would take, you know, if you really spent some time, you could spend, good Lord, a, well over an hour on uh, this essay. So I'm just going to touch on a few of the chapters. And you can also listen to these things on, and when I put the link, any of these times I put the medium link they have a, I just figured this out myself last week, a little icon where you put listen and you can have the little robot read it uh, to you. Or if you want to look at all of the charts and graphs, you can read it yourself. But I'm going to put the link on there. You can read this yourself or have the robot read it for you. But uh, I'm going to just touch on a few chapters of this. So take it away and uh, wrap up what William Catton had to say, when was it? Over 20 years ago. Overshoot, why it's already too late to save civilization. <coughs> I have some bad news. 
civilization is going to collapse. Not in a thousand years, not in one hundred years, but within the lifetimes of most people alive today. It doesn't necessarily mean humans will go extinct, but at the very least, billions, with a B, billions of people are going to die from disease, violence, starvation, dehydration, natural disasters, and war. How do I know this? Because it has already begun. Our global industrial civilization has been headed for collapse for at least 50 years. Think of that's how long the human population, that's how long ago the human population went into overshoot, a concept that is crucial to understand if you are going to make sense of the horrors that await us in the 21st century. And again, I do not have any idea what, at, what Alan Urban's resume is to be such a fine uh, doom pornographer. But uh, anyway, this is required reading if you want to, uh, if you have not read Overshoot or even if you had, uh, you should read this article and then go read or reread the full book. So, what is Overshoot? Ecological overshoot, then he has a lot of links to, you, you know, to further expand on this. So what is overshoot? Ecological overshoot, which is the overshoot we're talking about on this channel, happens when the demands of a species exceed the regenerative capacity of the ecosystem. As the species multiplies, it consumes the ecosystem faster and faster, and the population skyrockets. Once there is nothing left to eat, the population collapses. This is the meta-problem of our time. When people talk about problems the world is facing, they usually focus on climate change or biodiversity loss or the threat of nuclear war. But all of these problems are merely symptoms of overshoot. And yet, most leaders and politicians have never even heard of it. And then, uh, to help you understand, let's take a look at the classic example of overshoot that occurred on an island off the coast of Alaska. And anyone who hasn't heard the story of the St. Matthews Island reindeer herd, he really goes into that. And then uh, from there, he goes from the reindeer population bomb and collapse, and he moves from reindeer to humans, uh, talking about the population uh, bomb and how we got here. Again, guys, this is this is sort of overshoot or collapse 101. All right, it's always good to have this information. I mean, but anybody probably here on Collapse Chronicles who has been here any for any time uh, gets most of what he is saying, but if you or anyone you know uh, wants the best introduction to why we are doomed because of overshoot. Uh, as they say, you can let the little robot read it for you. And, uh, you know, he talk, he goes back 10,000 years and, you know, we go through the hockey stick graph of, uh, of human population. Um, then, of course, he uh, is going to be quoting Paul Ehrlich, and then he gets into the uh, 
overshoot and collapse is just a two paragraph chapter. Thanks to all of these new forms of energy and technology, humans have vastly increased the carrying capacity of the planet. However, this increased carrying capacity is an illusion, which is exactly what it is. William R. Catton, author of Overshoot, The Ecological Basis of Revolutionary Change, called it, quote, phantom carrying capacity, close quote. Our ability to feed 8 billion people is completely dependent on fossil fuels such as oil and natural gas. Once we begin to run out of them, they will become much more expensive, which means everything else, especially food, will become much more expensive as well. And uh, so then he gives a discussion of peak oil, what that term is all about. He has a whole chapter on that. And uh, wrapping up with the conclusion, there is no way out of this mess, and which leads him into the chapter degraded, degraded carrying capacity, and he's not even halfway through his article. <clears throat> as terrifying as this information is, the, situa the situation is even worse than you think. When a species overshoots the carrying capacity of an ecosystem, the carrying capacity is degraded. And then he goes back to uh, the reindeer herd, you know, as a metaphor for where humanity is uh, right now. In the same way that reindeer degraded the carrying capacity of St. Matthew Island, humans have degraded the carrying capacity of the planet Earth. The signs are everywhere. And then he breaks down the signs of a planet-wide degraded carrying capacity. We look at topsoil, aquifers, forests, fisheries, fossil fuels, uh, ending with the wrap-up. All this technology allowed humans to vastly increase the carrying capacity of the planet, but this is a temporary increase. Technology merely delays collapse, which ensures that once collapse arrives, it will happen much more quickly. And then he dives into the whole concept of Earth Overshoot Day. Uh, which you've probably heard about, has all the links of that and graphs all of this out. Um, and then he gets from Earth Overshoot Day, he has an excellent uh, little uh, Cliff Notes version of the limits to growth. Uh, we've all heard of that famous study, uh, limits to growth, overshoot and collapse go hand in hand. If we have overshot the, ca the carrying capacity of our planet, which of course we have, then collapse is inevitable. So now there's a second question we need to answer, how much longer until the human population collapses. And so he goes all through this, uh, through this, uh, you know, the limits to growth and looking at 10 factors there. I mean, unbelievable. Uh, I love this, uh, I love this graph. I don't know if you can see it with the glare. I think that's the fine summation of the state of the planet uh, in the 
year 2023. I don't know if you could see it. All you can do is laugh. Uh, good God, what a mess. Uh, so the bottom line here, unless you are hundreds of years old, you have never lived during a time when the global population went down. Once it starts going down, it will likely be to a, due to a famine unlike any we have ever seen. Uh, and so then he goes from there and does an introduction to uh, climate change and how that is accelerating collapse. Okay, and finally, thank you. Uh, as I and Book Hermit have been saying for how long, even if there were no such thing as climate change, we would still be headed for collapse in the next few decades. But, unfortunately, climate change is very real and it will only accelerate the collapse, uh, which is exactly what it is doing. As, as he and anybody with a brain realizes, we don't even need uh, climate change to take down this planet. It's the, you know, it's the dark horse uh, in the horse race. Uh, so, then he breaks all this down. Then he tells the story how did we get here? Most people refuse to believe that our civilization is unsustainable and headed for collapse in the near future. There are people who have been presented with all of the facts mentioned in this article who still refuse to accept the truth. But why? There are many possibilities, but I think a big one is cultural conditioning Ever since we were born, we were all taught by the media that technology is good. They, they say technology is progress, and the more technology we have, the freer and happier society will be, like in Star Trek. So when you tell people that actually technology is destroying the planet and leading us toward collapse, they find it impossible to believe. They'll even say that what we need now is more technology. But unfortunately, we cannot solve our problems with the same methods that got us into this predicament. Uh, we've all heard that. So, uh, now asking the question, what now? As more and more people wake up to the reality of collapse, it is absolutely crucial that we help them understand why collapse is happening. The entire history of humans throughout the Holocene is characterized by overshoot and collapse. When societies exceeded the carrying capacities of their ecosystems, they usually either went to war hmm, with neighboring societies or devolved into civil war. Uh, collapse is the inevitable result of overshoot, and overshoot is everybody's fault. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, anyway, I need to get out of here. Uh, then he has a little bit of hopium at the end. Uh, maybe where he talks about how he is preparing. But until we do these things, you know, he go goes through the normal laundry list of things that ain't gonna happen. And he knows damn well we're not gonna do these things. I fear we will only make our predicament worse. I will close with a quote from William Captain, author of Overshoot. 
So to close out this rant, take it away, William Catton, quote, I have tried to show, you know, in his book, in his book Overshoot, I have tried to show the real nature of humanity's predicament, not because understanding its nature will enable us to escape it, but because if we do not understand it, we shall continue to act and react in ways that make it worse. And that book might have been written in the 1980s, and you better believe that everything we have done since those words were written, every single thing that humanity has done has made it worse. But anyway, amen, Brother Alan Urban. And as they say, you can find Adam Urban on medium.com. Let's uh, give uh, Alan Urban a big hand for uh, hitting 100 subs today. Uh, 63 yesterday, 100 today. Let's see if we can get 100 people from uh, Collapse Chronicles to go over and subscribe to Alan Urban and, uh, you know, if you hit the following link, then you will start receiving this excellent, uh, whether it's uh, every few days or once a week, this excellent, uh, you know, weekly compendium of collapse to look forward to, uh, to keep track. So we need all the chroniclers of collapse that we can get. But that out of the way, the little dog and I, I think we need to go find some pecan cobbler. The sun is coming out. It is turning into a beautiful day. Get out there and enjoy it while you still can. I'm going to go get some pecan cobbler since we're in the great state of Texas. Bye, guys.